Well, hello! So, as you can tell by that silly introduction, this vlog is all about wearing a lot of different hats. Uh, if you are an entrepreneur or if you are self-employed and if you are financially independent at all, you know that that means that you have to play all the roles that provide you with that income that you make. That might mean that you are your own accountant, your own web designer, your own receptionist, your own everything. You have to do everything. But the two big questions are, how do you do that and how do you avoid spreading yourself thin and end up failing at most things? Those are great questions, so let me see if I can answer them. Okay, so if you want to run your own business or if you want to be in total control of your life and career, there's a couple of things that you need to master before you can even attempt to succeed at doing that. Uh, if you can't master these characteristics, let's say, it's very likely that you should have a boss. And I don't mean that as a negative thing. Some people are better off having someone else organizing things for them, providing the work, providing the payment, and that's it. Now, I do advise all creative minds, that being musicians, painters, uh, it doesn't matter what you are, if you have some sort of creative output obsession, then you should really focus on developing certain characteristics that will allow you to succeed. And if you succeed, that means that you get to be more creative. And if you are more creative, then you are just happier. Okay, so characteristic number one, you have to be organized. You just have to be. I know this is very difficult for most of us. Life is very busy. Life is very distracting. There's all sorts of things always happening at the same time. So how does one get organized? Well, there's a couple of tricks. First of all, keep track of everything you do. So in other words, keep a journal of your daily activities. Uh, to-do lists are a cliche and they are useful for a reason. To keep a journal on what you've done is also extremely helpful because that keeps track of progress, not just what you have to do in the future. Stay organized when it comes to your finances. Keep a spreadsheet updated of what you spend and what you make. Make sure you are on top of it. There's a bajillion, uh, you know, websites out there that allow for uh, free accounting. So you don't really need to hire someone to do accounting for you these days. I do have an accountant because the company that I run you know, makes more than what I can manage or I'm willing to. But you know, like if you're just running yourself, your own life, and you don't have employees like I do, well, then just use a website. The second characteristic that you must develop is focus. You have to stay focused. You have to think about what you need to do, what you want to achieve, when you want to achieve it. Every day, you gotta think about that stuff every day. It can't just be a, a hobby and then you expect to be paid for it. I mean, the definition of a hobby is that you do something that you love for no money. But if you're trying to pursue a career, then you can't treat it like a hobby. You have to be professional about it. You have to stay focused. Use affirmations, use mantras, use whatever the hell you want, but stay on target. That actually leads me to the next characteristic that I find fundamental to develop, which is obsession. So many people are scared of the word obsession, but listen, if you're not obsessed about what you want to do, what you want to achieve, what you want to succeed at, what you want to be known for, why would anyone give you anything? Like, this is what, what really bothers me the most about a lot of artists and creative thinkers and they think that the money will come just out of sheer luck. And they think that if they are really good at, at painting paintings, then people will give them money, right? Wrong! You have to be obsessed because you need to promote your work, you need to work for it, you need to paint, you need to advertise it, you need to do your accounting, you need to do all these things that, you know, all together will really develop a good and healthy and productive and profitable career, right? So. Without obsession, you're gonna gas out. You will exhaust yourself even before you achieve anything, so stay obsessed. All right, the last characteristic that you need to develop is also super, super important. Be knowledgeable. You need to know what you're doing. For example, when I first created the first website for the Leeds Drum Academy, I didn't know anything about web design, 
So I had to read about it, I learned about it. I, I couldn't afford hiring a web designer, so I learned web designing. You have to be knowledgeable about uh, you know, accounting if you want to do your own taxes and whatnot. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna end up messing up, you'll make mistakes. Uh, again, life is very busy and distracting. We get tired, mistakes are made and those mistakes can be costly. Trust me, I should know. I've made plenty of them. So be knowledgeable, read about the stuff that you want to be good at, watch videos, do online courses, talk to people who know about that stuff more than you do. Ask questions, ask questions, ask questions, you know my spiel. So if you want to succeed at this life that really expects you to wear 1000 hats, you must be organized, you must be focused, you must be obsessed and you have to be knowledgeable. Without these things, and probably more, it's very likely that many of those hats that you have to wear, you won't wear them right. And it is the sum of all parts that produces success. Just because you are good at one thing, that doesn't predict that you will succeed at everything. And a career is not just one thing. It embodies and encompasses a lot of different fields. So you have to learn them. That's the most important thing here. You have to know what you're doing. Don't just believe in it. Don't just be passionate about it. Learn about it. Practice it. Get better. Do it a little bit every day. If you're not good with accounting, my advice to you is every day spend half an hour doing your accounts. Do accounting, right? Open that spreadsheet. Calculate the costs and the expenses every day. Spend half an hour doing that. Learn how to do, you know, formulas on Excel and just learn that stuff. That is the secret to success. You have to learn your craft. And your craft includes promoting your craft. Your craft includes knowing how much taxes you're gonna pay. Your craft includes knowing how to advertise. Your craft includes learning how to do Facebook ads and Google AdWords and Twitter ads, Instagram ads. It includes to know all these things. So my friends, the trick to wear a thousand hats and uh, not get your brain to explode is very simple. Either you learn how to do those things really well or you have to delegate and find people within your network that can do it for you. Now this can be easy if you have a lot of friends with a lot of different tastes, but if you are like me, most of the people I know are also musicians and music teachers, so they kind of don't know anything about accounting either. <laughs> in my case, I had to learn those things myself. Yes, now I'm in a position where I can hire people who do those things for me, but I still know what they are doing, which is also a very valuable skill. Anyhow, that's how I wear all the hats that I wear, it's really just a matter of learning. It really is. Right, guys, that's today's episode. Goodbye.